Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Can you hear me? Can you see me okay? Yes. Can you hear me and see me okay? Good evening. Hello, good evening. Everybody can hear me and see me okay? Yes, okay. Okay. All right, good, good. I'm just wondering because um, I'm getting this notification that you can't hear me, but I guess that's wrong. <laughs> okay, welcome to today's class, everybody. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, good. How was your your day today? Everybody had a good day? Uh, it was good. It was good. Just good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, guys and girls, um, it's good to uh, be able to see you today. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to be starting uh, our class with the attendance. Okay. So... Um, Please make sure that your microphone is working and that your camera is on, okay? So just one moment while I accommodate things here. Okay, so we're going to start. First of all is Ana Isela Janice. Present teacher. Excellent. Teacher, Thank estoy you. teniendo inconvenientes con la conexión de mi internet. Por momentos se me va a oír cortado, la voy a ver cortada la, la, la clase. Okay, okay, no problem. Uh, try to continue uh, connected as much as you can. Okay. Uh, Ana Ruth Perez, Leiva. Ana Ruth, Ana Ruth Pérez Leiva, Carlos Ernesto Flores Bonilla, Carlos Ernesto Flores Bonilla, Diana Cristabel Meléndez Rivera, Diana Cristabel Meléndez Rivera, Eh, Gerardo José Altepas. Thank you. Eh, José Mauricio Martínez. I'm here. Thank you. Juana Margarita Sea. Juana Margarita. Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre. Present. All right, thank you very much. Catherine Nicole Salazar. Catherine Nicole Salazar. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Um Kat Kati Jor um Jordana Dos. Katy Jordana Dos Cruces. Um, Laura Lisset Peña. Present teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Lorena Araceli Hernández de García. Lorena Araceli Hernández de García. Um, Melissa Cecilia Betran. Present teacher. Thank you. Mirna del Carmen Rano. Present teacher. Wonderful. Thank you very much. 
Oscar Otoniel Cruz. Present. Thank you. Roberto Carlos Alfaro. Present. Okay, thank you very much. Salvador Antonio Martinez. Present. Thank you very much. Uh, Sebastiana Guadalupe Aguilar. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Tamara Eugenia Aguilar. Tamara Eugenia Aguilar. And Ursula Adriana Burgos. Present teacher. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. Thank you. Um, thank you, um, guys and girls, for connecting. Eh, solo una curiosidad. Solo veo a la mitad de la clase. No sé qué ha pasado con la otra mitad. Si pueden encender sus cámaras. Please, uh, if you can open up your camera, that'd be wonderful. Okay. Can you please open the camera? Okay. Salvador Antonio, Ana Isela, Laura Lisset, Catherine Nicole Salazar. No vemos sus caritas. Okay. All right, guys and girls. So we're going to start our class for today. Please tell me if you are able to see my my screen. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay, good. So yesterday we were looking at questions with how and the short answers. So today what we're gonna do, we're gonna be practicing. So we have these um, dialogues, okay, a mini dialogues. And I want you to, um, to complete the dialogue with the correct word, okay? So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna leave this um, for you to do. Um, so look at, look at the, the question and trying to figure out what word do we use? How often, how long, how well, or how good? Okay, so we can do this individually. Okay, the first one is- uh, um, Hold on, just give me a moment. L let's, let's, let's do it first individually, and then we'll check the, uh, the, the, the answers as a class, okay? So that we have uh, we give an opportunity for everybody to do it. Okay. Okay, are we ready now? Can we check? Can we check guys? But not yet. Not yet. Okay. There are only three questions or, I don't know, there are, there are four. Four, maybe four.
All right, are we ready now? Okay, here we go. The first okay. one. It's how well do you play volleyball? How well? Do you all do agree? You play volleyball? No. How good are you at volleyball? Oh, how volleyball. good are you at volleyball? Good. How good are you at volleyball? How do we know that it's how good? Well, because over here, you say I'm pretty good. I guess I'm pretty good. And I'm notice pretty. pretty good? Okay. Okay. Goes with this one. Okay. All right, next. Um, next question. How long? How long do you spend online? How long? Sorry. How long do you spend online? How long do you spend online? About an hour after dinner, I'll chat with my friends. Next, number three. How often do you play cards? How often? How Good. often? How often or how often? It depends on how you prefer to say it. How often or how often do you play cards? So twice a month. It's a a good way to relax. And finally, how well can you type? Good. How well can can you type? Yeah. How well can you type? Not very well. What is the answer? Not very well. Okay. Any questions at this moment? No. Sure. Um, I have a question. Mm -hmm. No sé cómo preguntárselo en, en, en inglés, teacher. No entiendo. Pero mi idea es... Try. Try in English. Try. Mm -hmm. Try. Why? Why you skip and and no use will do. Okay, because that, that's a very good question. Thank you, Kevin, for asking. And you did it correctly. See, you can you are able to make uh, the question perfectly. Very good. Uh, because here we're talking about abilities, okay? And when we're talking about abilities, we are going to be using the word can. Okay? Um, hold on. So how well can you type? Okay. Um, um, now, it is possible, though, to say, how well do you type? That's okay, too. Okay. But what I want you to understand, though, is that both answers are possible. Okay. Okay. How well can you type? How well do you type? But can um, is talking mostly about abilities. Okay? okay. So it's like saying, how well, like it's like saying, cuán bien puedes eh, digitar. Okay. Any other questions that you have? No, thank you. You're welcome. 
Anything else? Okay. All right, here we go then. Um, I'm going to stop sharing for a moment. Okay. And um, just to let you guys know, um, we have officially finished unit um, or the section number one uh, right now. So what we're going to do now um, is we're going to start with a new unit, section number two. Mm -hmm. And um, please tell me if you can see my screen. Yes, I can see it. Good, everybody sees it? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay, good. So we have here some leisure activities. Um, or in other words, these are activities that we do in our free time, in the time that, that we do not have to be working, okay? So let's take a look at some of the free time activities or leisure activities. Read. Everybody read? Um, yes. Not uh, so no, often, no, re no, repeat, repeat. Read. Oh, read, okay. Read. 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 Good. Watch TV. Watch TV. Watch TV. Mm -hmm. Spend time with family. Spend time with Spend family. Time with family. Time with family. Okay. Notice say spend time and not past time. You don't say past time. You say spend time. Spend time. Yeah. Okay. Get fish. 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 Mm -hmm. Do gardening. Do gardening. Do gardening. Do gardening. Play sports. Play sports. Play sports. Play sports. Go to the movies. Go to the movies. Go to the movies. Spend time with friends. Spend time, Spend with, time, friends. time with friends. friends. Good. Okay. Excellent. Uh, do we understand these activities? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, which activities do you do? Which are, mm. Which are the activities that you normally do in your free time? Well, I do prefer spend time with my family. You spend time with your family, okay? And when I am totally alone, I prefer watch TV. You okay? So you watch TV. All right, yeah. good. All right. What about the rest of you? What do you do in your free time when your leisure time? Um, I usually read. You usually read. Okay, very good. I'm impressed actually because not many people like reading in El Salvador, so that's great. Anything else? No? Mm. Who, who does fishing? Do you fish? Anybody do fishing? No, nobody does fishing? Or what about no. gardening? Do you do gardening? I do gardening only to to keep my to keep my space clean. Okay, okay, fair enough. All right, do you do gardening? No. Do you do gar I yeah. do gardening every Sunday. You do gardening every Sunday. Yes. Oh wow! Okay, great. Good for you. 
Okay. Do you go to the movies? Anybody go to the movies? No? Nobody goes to the movies? Um, in my I'm case, not. I go to the movies with my daughter. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Now, what I want you to do um, is think about other activities that you do in your free time. What other activities do you do in your free time? Don't tell me right now. Just think about them and write them down. Which other activities do you do in your free time? No, oh, yeah, don't don't tell me just yet. I go shopping. Okay, you go okay, shopping. Okay, good. What other activities do you do? Go shopping. What else? Go to. The, what else do you do? In your free, in your free, in your leisure time. I love is, playing video games. Okay, playing video games. Very good. Do you do you know what is leisure time? Uh, podría decirse tiempo de ocio. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, leisure time, tiempo de ocio. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Now, I want you now to uh, put the activities in the order from your favorite to the least favorite. So put for your favorite, number one, a second least favorite, number two, and so forth. Okay. Put a number next to them. Okay. Are you ready? Do you need more time? Okay. Okay. So I want you to work with your partner. Sorry, with a group. You're going to be working with a group, um, small groups, breakout rooms. And um, I want you to share, share your discussion with your group, okay? So that um, you can tell your group, what is your favorite activity? That would be number one, least favorite activity, number two, and so on, okay? All right, so let me put you guys into breakout rooms. Okay, and here we go.
Yes. Am I wrong or it is correct? Las cosas favoritas que nosotros hacemos. Ajá. Según la lista que ella mostró, era únicamente como compartir cuál era la favorita y la que hace la menos. Es que yo estoy teniendo problemas con mi internet. <risa> Pero ya, ya me pongo al día entonces. Ajá, no, no te preocupes. ¿Quién tiene del grupo? ¿Alguien más que tenga la lista? ¿Que la quiera compartir? Este, no, no, yo, yo por el momento no tengo la lista. La voy a compartir. Okay. Vaya, pero... Se, se puede ver, sí, ajá, sí, sí, ok, gracias, mi amor, ok, salud, 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 mi amor, vaya. In my case, my first favorite thing is spend time with my family. The second, watch TV alone or with my family. Mm. Uh, do gardening. Uh, go to the movies. Read a book. It depends on on the mood, on my mood, I guess. And spend time with friends. Okay. In in my case, the fear is great. Okay. Uh, con spend time with family. Okay. And three. Ah. Uh, no, nothing. Sí. Mm, mm, mm. Play sport. Oh. Okay. Do I do I do exercise. Oh, okay. Yes. And la um que menos eh the gardening <laughs> in my case. For me it's not a uh, favorite thing to do, but I need to do it because I need to keep my space clean. That's why I do gardening. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. I prefer save money, save money and do it by myself. <laughs> yeah, good, good. Okay, guys and girls. All right, so could you tell me what is your number one um, activity that you like to do in your free time? In my free time, I really love spend time with my family. Okay, very good. Very, very good. And the rest of you, what's your number one? What is the one that you do the most? In my case, uh, read and, and study. Read and study. Okay, very good, very, very good. All right, and the rest of you? Spend time with my family. Spend time with your family? Okay, good. What about the second most, um, uh, the, the second most um, con uh, 
most popular uh, activity that you do? In my case, watch TV. Watch TV. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. What about the rest of you? In my case, um, I spend time with family. Spend time with family. Okay. Very good. Very good. And which activity is the one that you least do? Chicos, nuevamente les recuerdo ahí es de su camarita para los que no tienen sentido. Which, which activity is the one that you least do? The one that you almost never do? Play sports. Play sports. In my case, do, do garden, gardening. Do gardening, okay. Me, Very me too, play sports. Preach. Play sports as well. In my case, go to the park and walk. Okay, walking in the park. Okay. All right. Very good. Excellent. Okay. So um, what we're going to do right now is concentrate on uh, this uh, conversation that I'm going to show you in a moment. Can you see this conversation? Yeah. I can see it in, in, in your sharing screen. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Can you see? Can you see? Or is that too small? No. It's okay. For me, it's good. For you, it's okay. All right. What about the rest of you? Is it okay? It's okay. All right. Okay. So we just have this conversation between Rick and Meg. So I want you to listen and repeat. Okay. So what did you do last weekend, Meg? So what did you do last weekend, Meg? Mm -hmm. Oh, I had a great time. Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar. I went to a karaoke bar. A karaoke bar. Karaoke. Karaoke bar. Karaoke bar. Karaoke bar. And sang with some friends. And sang with some friends. On Saturday. On Saturday. On Saturday. On Saturday. On Saturday. That sounds like fun. That sounds like fun. That sounds like, like fun. fun. Did you go to Lucky's? Did you go to Lucky's? Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Sorry. Uh, sorry. No. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I got confused. We went to that new place downtown. We went to the mm -hmm. to that yeah, new place downtown. downtown. How about you? How about you? How about you? Did you go anywhere? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere. No, all I weekend. Didn't go no, I didn't go anywhere. All weekend. Yes. I just stayed home. I just stayed, I home. Just stayed home. And studied for today's. And studied, and studied, and studied for today's. And studied for, for today's. Spanish test. Spanish, Spanish test. Spanish test. Mm -hmm. Our Spanish test is today. Our Spanish, Our Spanish test, test is today. today. Is today. I forgot all about that. I forgot all about that. I forgot all about that. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. You, Don't worry. Al Good. you always get an A. You always, you get, always an a. get an A. All right. Very good. Bravo. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? 
expressions of words that you don't understand what they mean? Mm. No. No, you sure? No. Um, the word is A and D. Karaoke bar and sing. Cante. Sing. Oh, yeah. I sang with some friends on Saturday. Sang. Thank you. Okay. Any other words that you didn't understand? The pronunciation or the meaning? About in the last phrase, uh, you always get an A. Is like to mm -hmm. say a good score or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So. If, that's a very good question. So um, the thing is that in the United States, in Canada, and I'm pretty sure in in the UK as well, um, the the system, the the education system, does not go by numbers; it goes by letters. Okay, so you know how in, in like in El Salvador. We use uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten as a score. In other parts of the world, like the United States and Canada, we use letters, not numbers. So an A, the letter A, is the equivalent of getting a 10 in okay. Spanish. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, an A is between an eight, um, an eight point six to a ten. That's what an A is equivalent to. Okay. And then a B is equivalent to, I think, 7.3, and so on. Okay, so when you say you always get an A, it means you always have a very good score. Okay. okay. All right, very good. Any other questions about vocabulary? No. No, it's all clear? For me, crystal clear. Crystal clear. Okay, perfect. All right, so I sent this conversation to you in the WhatsApp group, and I'm going to get you guys to practice the conversation with a partner, okay? Um, okay. And as usual, I'm going to make sure that you guys are actually there to practice because I don't want to um, put you into a breakout room and you're not there. Okay, so I still do not see Salvador Antonio. Are you there? Okay, yes. perfect, excellent. Oscar Otonian? I'm here, teacher. Oh, okay, wonderful. Uh, Roberto Carlos? Roberto Carlos, are you there? Present, teacher, present. Okay. Will you be able to participate? No. I am driving, teacher. Okay. All right. No problem. Uh, Diana Cristabel? Present. Will you? Okay. Perfect. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I keep on forgetting that you're in, too. 
Okay, good. Eh, Lorena Araceli. Lorena Araceli. Okay, just one second while I fix some things. Okay. All right, I think they're all already. Okay, let's open the rooms. We went to a new place downtown. How about you? Did you go any there, anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get it in A. Mm. Vaya, ahora sería usted la primera. Bye. Ahí veamos. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucas? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I, for I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. Okay. So, what did you do last weekend, Me? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucas? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay. I began. Who is uh, No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test, our Spanish Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you're always getting A. But... Yeah. <laughs> We finished, teacher. Okay. Do you have any questions? No. no I don't. All clear. Okay. All right. I'll see you in the main room then. Okay. Thank you.
Okay. All right, guys and girls. Um, so if you notice um, in this conversation that we just practiced, we were talking about last weekend. So we're talking about the past, last weekend. So we're today we're going to be learning precisely about that. We're going to be learning about the past, how to talk about the past. Uh, please tell me, can, can you see my screen? Yes. 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 Perfect. Okay. So the simple past, when you're asking a question in the simple past, we always, always, always start with the word did. Okay. If you're talking about the past, you're going to start with the, the, the word did. With the exception if we're asking an uh, information question. In that case, if you're asking an information question, you're going to have to start with the 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 wh question word okay so what how who where when which etc cetera, etc cetera. okay does that make sense yes yeah. good okay so we always start with did independent what the subject is okay and speaking about the subject we put the subject after you or in this case it would be rick or meg but notice it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what the subject is because it, it's always going to be did sounds good any questions No. No. Okay. All right. In that case, we continue using the verb in parentheses. So the sorry, the verb, um, which is going to be in the original form. So work, do, go, spend. It's going to be in the original form, independent of what the subject is. It's always going to be, so it doesn't matter if it's I, you, he, she, it, we, it's always going to be the verb in the, a, the base form, in the, in, in the form that doesn't change. Okay. Does that sound okay? Do we understand that? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. And then after we're going to put the complement, whatever the complement is, for example, in this case, it's on Saturday. Here, it's also on Saturday. Here, it's anywhere last weekend. And then here, it's her weekend. Okay, so we can put any complement that is necessary. Now, when you answer, when you answer, it's going to be very simple. It's either going to be a yes or no. Okay, yes or no. Of course, this is only when you're asking yes or no questions. But if you're asking in, um, information questions, then it's going to be a little bit different. But let's let's concentrate on yes or no questions. In yes or no questions, you're going to be using yes, and then goes the subject. So in this case, I. Here it's I. And over here in this one, get okay with it. Let me fix that. Let me fix that. So did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. So notice we're going to be using the auxiliary did or in the negative, didn't. Now, what's really beautiful about this is that it's always going to be didn't or didn't, depending, and it doesn't matter if the subject is I, you, he, she, it, doesn't matter. It's always going to be did or didn't. The only thing that's going to change if it's affirmative or negative. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. All right. After that, you're going to give more information by adding um, the verb in parentheses, sorry, in the verb in the simple past. So in this case, worked in the negative, didn't work. Here it's went in the negative, didn't go. Okay, now in work, it's a regular verb. That is the reason why we're going to put ed at the end, worked. Okay, so ed worked. Okay. And in the in the negative, all you're gonna do is put the didn't. Okay, just like your didn't. Now you gotta be careful with some of the verbs though, because some of the verbs um, is yeah, exactly. They are different, they change, and that happens with irregular verbs. Like for example, go went is went. what's the original form of went? Go. Go, exactly. So notice go is very different from went. Why? Because it's an irregular verb. So it doesn't follow the regular rule. Okay. The regular rule is simply adding ed. Or if um if the verb finishes in e, just add a d, or if the verb finishes in y, like a consonant y, you eliminate the y and put i e d, right? That's the regular verbs. Now for the irregular verbs, you have to look at a list. There is a list of the of how you're going to make irregular verbs. Okay. So like I said over here. Um, okay. So he stayed home and studied. Both of these are regular. That is the reason why we're going to be using ED, right? Or in this case, you're using IED. And the reason is because study finishes in a consonant and then the letter D, the letter Y. Okay. So far, so good? Yeah. 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 Okay. And in irregular verbs, you also have to explain and you say went. And say. Okay. Okay. Do you have any questions so far? Mm, do you have any list of irregular verbs that you can share with us? Regular or irregular verbs? Regular and irregular. Regular, I can't share a list of regular verbs because there is an infinite amount of regular verbs, like. But the most common. Um, most common regular verbs. Sure, I could try it. Yeah, I can. I can do that. Um, <clears throat> okay. but yeah, just basically regular verbs. You just put ed at the end, okay. or just d if it finishes in e, like hate, like um, hate. Like complete, <clears throat> um, what's another one? I oh, can't think of any right now. Oh, dance, <laughs> dance. A uh, you just put D, right? So, okay, okay, so yeah, so complete dance, hate, like you just put a okay. D, and okay. then, and then when you have. A verb that finishes in a in a consonant and then y, 
like this one, study, mm -hmm. you eliminate the Y and put IED. Okay, okay. And then, of course, the list of irregular verbs is is going to be different. You know, there's no rules. Okay. okay. Um, okay. There are approximately 200 um, irregular verbs in English. Okay. But I can send you a list of the most common ones because okay. I don't want you to be memorized in all 200. That's way too much. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I know. <laughs> Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Any other questions, guys? Okay. Well, in that, in that case, what we're going to do is take attendance to finish off our class. Okay. So, Ana Isela Janis? Present teacher. Excellent. Ana Ruth Perez. Present. Excellent, thank you. Carlos Ernesto Flores. Carlos Ernesto Flores. Diana Cristabel Mel eh, Melendez. Present. Okay, um, perfect, thank you. Gerardo Jose Tepas? Um, I'm here. All right, thank you. Jose Mauricio Martinez? I'm here. Excellent. Uh, Juana Margarita Sea? Juana Margarita? Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre. Present. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Catherine Nicole Salazar. Present, teacher. Excellent. Cat, uh, Cathy Jordana Dos Cruces. Cathy Jordana Dos. Laura Lisset Peña. Excellent. Lorena Araceli Hernandez. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Um, Melissa Cecilia Beltran. Present teacher. Thank you. Mira del Carmen Ruano. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Oscar Otoniel Cruz. Present. Okay, very good. Um, Roberto Carlos Alfaro. Here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Salvador Antonio Martinez. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Sebastiana Guadalupe Aguilar. Present teacher. Excellent. Tamara Eugenia Aguilar. Tamara Eugenia Aguilar y Úrsula Ad Adriana Burgos. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you everybody uh, for connecting today. And we have come to the end of our class. So I will see you when? Monday. Mon Monday. Monday. Yeah. Monday. Exactly. Monday. So I'll, yeah, see Monday. You, um, I'll see you Monday. Uh, don't forget, uh, we have classes uh, Monday to Thursday, and we need to finish off section one, okay, and okay. two, okay? okay? All right, guys, so that's it. I will see you guys next week. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, okay? So you do. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good night. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.